Now that summer's over, an old Phoenix institution can start a new season. Cronkite News reporter Samara Link takes us to the races. Horses, handlers, and jockeys. It's opening race day at Turf Paradise. The gallery, full of first-timers like Julie Isaacs and her husband, took advantage of free admission on opening day. Come out and enjoy the sunshine and watch some horses run. There were plenty of veteran horse race fans there, too. Not he makes his move on here. Come on, four! The summer off-season meant big renovations at the track. The horses got a new 32-degree saltwater spot. There's only one other one like it in the country. Right after the races, if they're sore, they just go into the spa with the salt waters, and it's just like any athlete, where they get the soreness out. And spectators will get to watch plenty of races on a special new turf track. Owner Jerry Sims says people bet about 25% more on grass races. I think horses run truer to form, and better horses generally run on the grass. With 135 race days, more people come to see the horses run than go to home games for the Phoenix Suns. Most of these people are placing bets. Oh, he's the better. I'm, I'm like I say, $2, $6. Run no one. Came in last. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the <laughs> and with that, they're off to a season of horse racing with close finishes, new records, and new champions. In Phoenix, Samara Link, Cronkite News. The owners of Turf Paradise are hoping that legislators will approve a new racino. That's a racing casino. And if they get it, they'll give the state 45% of the earnings. 